Welcome back. Uh, I'm Erin, the Two Martini Stitcher, and this is my channel about cross stitch. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returner viewer, yay, I'm so happy to get to visit with you again this week. This is floss tube number 20. I always kind of forget to say what number it is. I don't know why that matters, but I guess in case you're like binge watching them, I wanna make sure you're going in order. Although, man, if you're binge watching these, oof, that's, that's a lot of me rambling. <laughs> How is everyone this week? I've got, yes, a mug. <laughs> Look at that, it says, como se llama? <clears throat> that's funny. It's also my daughter's and she gets really like possessive of me using her mug, so don't tell her. She doesn't watch these, she'll never know. Mm. But the beverage this week is tea, because it's cold, <laughs> it's gotten cold this week in the Pacific Northwest. We had like hail yesterday, and today when I took the dog out first thing this morning, it was like 34 degrees, it was very cold. But you know it's not just tea in my mug, like that'd be crazy. So I zhuzhed up my tea with a little bit of rum chata, um, which if you guys don't know about rum chata, well, you gotta check it out. It's like rum, but with cream. So think like Irish cream, but rum. And look, I found them. Can you read that? It's kind of got a glare. Rum chata. I found them in like cute little creamer cups at Target. Our Target carries liquor. I don't know if yours does. If yours does, check them out. Like you can get like 15 little rum chata cups. That's just perfect for putting in your coffee or some tea. So I'm cold. I don't, I mean, I'll adjust. But today I was a little chilly, so some tea sounded really good. So how are how is everybody? How was your week? My week was really okay. Part of the week since I've seen you guys was really really good. We had a fantastic weekend. Um, the oldest daughter came home on Saturday. She messaged us, and a friend of hers from high school was home from college for the weekend. She's going to school out in New York, and so um, her friend was going to be home over the weekend. So she came back over this direction really to visit her friend, but then so kindly texted us and said, do you guys want to do dinner or something? So she came over Saturday evening for dinner and stayed. My middle was working late. She was closing uh, at Coldstone where she works, but uh, my oldest was here and my youngest and we had dinner and played games and she spent the night and then we went out for a really fun family breakfast at our favorite breakfast place. And then we took her back to school. But that was really, that was really nice and fun. So I didn't get much stitching done like Saturday, Saturday night. Like normally Saturday night, I get a lot of stitching done. I didn't because Sarah was home and we were hanging out and playing games and hearing about how school's going for her. And then this week has been just a little bit nutty. It's just been a little bit nutty this week. As it goes, when you're an adult, things crop up like a car breaking down, which is what happened yesterday. The car my daughter drives, her and her older sister shared it, uh, but now that Sarah's off at college, it's just Abby driving it and she drives it to her college classes because she does her high school at the college. So she drives it to her college classes and to work and she takes her and her sister down to dance and I broke down yesterday, so I ended up running in to save her, <laughs> pick her up and get the car towed. And we found out today is the transmission. Wah, wah. So I don't know if we're gonna fix it. I don't know that the car is worth <laughs> the cost to fix it. There will be a discussion tonight when the, when the husband gets home. So we gotta figure out what to do about the car situation. Mm. Oh well. Hey, did you guys notice I have something on my wall? <laughs> Look, Audrey, Stitchy Witch for 42. Stitchy Witch 42, Audrey, something. <laughs> she said, you have to put something on the wall, just something. So I did, I wrote something, <laughs> stuck it on the wall. I was really close to having actual stitching up on the wall. If it had not been for the car breaking down, I think. I have a previous finish that I was gonna FFO and hang up. And I also have, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna grab it, hold on. 
I have been working really hard on getting this crafting room all organized. I'll, I posted like a before picture, kind of before picture when it was a disaster zone, but I have furniture rearranged and I have all of my whips up on the bookcase now. I took a huge load of stuff to Value Village, just a ton of the kids' puzzles from when they were little and books and I moved some DVDs. So all the stuff that were on these bookcases has all been rehomed, either gone from the house or rehomed in the house. And it's now all of my stitching stuff. So I need some more basket organization and I'll take pictures and show you guys all, um, all of that. I'll post that on Instagram. Cause I, so I'm two martini stitcher on Instagram as well. This not fall over. Anyway, but one of the things when we redid my youngest daughter's room that she had in her room and didn't want anymore was this cute like frame magnet board. See it's magnets and it has this cute little thing and I was going to hang it up here and then I was thinking even if I had like little smaller flat finishes I could just magnet them to the board and it has this cute little ribbon and there's a knob, like a pretty decorative knob that screws in that this hangs on. I can't find the knob anywhere. I don't know what we did with it when we took it off of her wall. I can't find it. So I need to get just, I think I'm just gonna get a little claw picture hanger and just hang it and not worry about the ribbon. So I thought that might go here and the other finish I need to do go here. Didn't happen. <laughs> Didn't happen. So. Instead, something. But hopefully next week, guys. Hopefully next week I will have actual stitching on the wall. Yay! Maybe I shouldn't celebrate until it's actually done. Anyhow, so that's my week. It's, well, we're like seven minutes in. I haven't even talked about stitching. We really do talk about cross-stitch on this channel. But also, I want to hear how things are going. And I'm sure you guys want to hear about my crazy life, right? It's exactly why you stopped by, correct? No. So, what did I work on this past week? Let's do whips. Works in progress. Uh, I had a new start and I worked on a bunch of stuff. So first, progress on Harry Potter book covers. Ba boom I'm just jumping right into it. No preamble. Harry Potter book covers, there we go. So I'm just keep working. I'm really close guys now to a page-ish finish on this. Like this broom's almost done. And on the next page, cause now I'm parking threads on the next page. I can see that little unicorn is on the next page. Gosh, I'm so excited. So I was counting this morning and I think I have nine blocks left to finish this page. So normally that'd be a little over a week cause I do a block a day, like a block of a hundred. But these were over here are really 70. So, I, I might, I think I'm gonna push. I think I'm gonna push to have this finished next Wednesday. And then I'll have it all out of the Q-snap and I'll show it to you. What do we think? Think I can get that done? I think I can. I think I can just take a couple evenings and get that done, so. Double up a couple days. So there's Harry Potter book covers. Working on that broom and this archway. And it's looking good, yay. Uh, so that's that. And what else did I work on? So last week I was working on stuff for Enchanting Stitches and School of Magical Stitches and Literature Challenge. So we were working on, let me see, I have everything in my like little notebook. Cause I sometimes don't remember what I worked on for what things, but I'm gonna try to be better about telling you what I worked on for each assignment. It's kind of weird because I film in the middle of the week. So you guys hear about like the last half, like part of last week and part of this week, but eh, whatever. So last week after I talked to you guys, I worked on Midnight Watch. This one. All right, look, I even remember to bring a picture. It's nice because now everything's up here. Like it's in the room where I film. So I can remember and if I don't, I can just grab it. So I worked on Midnight Watch by Blackbird Designs. 
And I, I had this count for both groups. So I worked on this for Enchanted, Enchanted Stitching for Halloween color, because black, I worked on the black cat mostly, and also our Posthumous Companion. And I said mine would be a black cat, because I have a black cat, I'm sure Leo would come with me, right? And so here's what I got done. And I worked, I almost, I like worked, I did all the stitches, so 500 stitches in the black cat. I think I had like just this, his ear done last time. So I did all the work, all those stitches on the black cat. And then I used it for enchanting stitches because we were working on feelings. So I used this for, um, a dark piece because Midnight Watch. And then also there was a bonus of working on a piece that is a standalone, like it's not part of a series or a sow because Voldemort was a loner. Tom Riddle was a loner at school. So there we go. Black Bird Designs Midnight Watch. I still really love this piece. I am really enjoying stitching on it. And I am doing this on, oh, I should tell you, that I should, You'd think I was new at this. Floss tube number 20 and I still don't have my act together. So I'm stitching this on, that's not it, this one. Winter's Brew, I believe. Yes, 32 count Winter's Brew. And I'm using a mix of the called for overdyes and some of the DMC conversion that's listed. So, but the cat is all, I'm doing the cat in Cast iron skillet. Is that right? I believe that's right. Yes. Gentle Arts cast iron skillet. Because he's actually charted in the same color as the border, which is more brownish. And I wanted a black, black cat. So I think that's the only substitution I made. There we go. So I worked on that. And then I also put some work into Penny Autumn. And I use this for uh, enchanting stitches. We had to work on something that was like boring or repetitive, something that had a repetitive pattern or we found boring. And uh, then it also counted for School of Magical Stitches for something related to a bathroom. Uh, because, let me find Pinata. There it is. So there's the pattern. Penny Autumn by Plum Street Samplers. So that house, that house would have a bathroom for sure. I'm sure there's a bathroom in there. And this border is quite repetitive. So that's what I worked on was more border. So I did 250 stitches on the border. I got, I was about to here, I think, and had part of this. So I came over and down, and then I worked down a little bit more over here. So I've just been working on the outline of that penny rug border. And then look at that pretty needle minder. That came from Abby Topknot Stitcher. Isn't that pretty? Feels like autumn to me. So, and I am doing that one on wax, I'm sure. I'm sure it's wax, but oh, that's my working copy. Maybe we should flash that. Mm. Yes, it's 36 count flax. I know that it is, because it was a piece that I had left over from mm, something else <laughs> that I did on flax, because for a while, everything I started was on flax. Good heavens, I am a mess today, guys. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. We're just gonna throw that on the floor. I am a hot mess today, guys. It's been a week. I maybe should have gone with something stronger than tea and rum chata. Okay, then I had a new start. I'm so excited about this one, guys. I started and I used it for Oh, I'm using it this week. I started it last Friday just because I was done with all my homework and I wanted to start it. I just wanted to start this and I'm using it for homework this week. So I started five o'clock somewhere because it's got to go right here, right? 
I need it like framed up in white right there, five o'clock somewhere. And I decided to go with the 28 count tropical green lime fabric. And I'm doing this, it's all DMC that's called for. And boom, woohoo, look how bright that is. I was having a tough time, guys. I thought once I got the floss and did a floss toss, because this is the other piece I had bought for it. It's still in here. Uh, a moss green Lugana, which honestly looks more like what's in the picture. So it calls for 25 count pearl antique green linen. I don't know. I don't know where you find that. I didn't really look that hard for it either, to be honest. But I think that this moss green Lugana looks pretty close to what's in the picture. But I thought this lime green was just like stinking fun. Like that's just fun. And so I thought when I like did the floss toss on it, that it would be really obvious like which one was better. But honestly, it looks good on both. It really does. So I'm gonna show you. So here's all the, here's my little floss ring. Kind of a mess, but it's just all DMC fine but see it actually looks good on that moss green right and I was a little worried that this color here which is 3819 was a little too close to the linen color and that's right here but I decided to chance it because I thought this room is so bright that I thought the bright Lime green, ooh, did something weird to the camera. I don't know if you guys saw that or if I just cited. Uh, would be more fun than the moss green. And I think I'm gonna stitch this again on this piece of fabric for my father-in-law. Cause I think it would look perfect at, at his bar in Michigan and that would go better with their colors. So anyhow, so I started this on Friday and then I worked on it, um, some more at the beginning of this week for both Enchanted Stitching and Mag School Magical Stitches. So this week in the School of Magical Stitches, we're working on our apparition, uh, getting ready for our apparition test. And each house, th there's like a random number wheel that tells you how many times you've been splinched practicing your apparition. And that's how many projects you have to work on. So I'm a Ravenclaw, our number's four. So I need to work on four projects for a total of a thousand stitches. So you have to do at least a hundred in each project, but up to a total of a thousand. So, which is nice, because then I could just pick whatever four projects I wanted to work on, and I'm having it overlap with Enchanted Stitching. So I used five o'clock somewhere. So I did, over the weekend, I did the martini glass and somewhere. And then for homework this week, I did the cherry, the lime, the olive, and five o'clock. So this is gonna be super fast, guys. There's really like, there's like a shrimp, a lemon, another olive, and then it's, and then some beading, and it's done. So I think this will, this will be done pretty fast. And then up on the wall, I'm so excited. But I think it looks okay. I ended up just adding um, this, this light color here. It is super close to the fabric, but I just backstitched the top of it with a little bit of white. And I think it looks just fine. This fabric is super stiff. Like, can you guys see it's like crunchy almost as you handle it <laughs> as I like just wrinkle it up more. Am I giving you guys like some of you are probably like <sighs> she's wrinkling up her fabric. I stitch in hand anyway, and it does soften up. I feel like maybe I should have um, rinsed it maybe in some hot water before I used it to get. I'm assuming that's just some sizing or something, but mm, it'll be fine because it's all DMC. I'm going to wash it. I think before uh, I put the beads on. I think I'm gonna wash it, iron it, put the beads on, give it another little press before I frame it. Cause I think that's gonna go in a frame. Hopefully I can find a frame that won't be too expensive to just stick it up on the wall. 
So that was my new start, five o'clock somewhere. I love it and it's so fast. Such a fun, fun little quick stitch. And it's in my, look at my martini project bag. This is a gift. Oh, I just flashed the pattern. Oh, none of you are going to pause it and steal it, right? Because I don't edit. Ugh. Oh well. What did I say, guys? Hot mess this week. My hot mess. It's been a week. And it's only Wednesday. Okay. All right. So the next project I worked on for enchanting stitches was I put some stitches into like 250-ish into Lizzie Kate November because we had to say which holiday door we would pick if we found all the holiday doors and I said I would pick the Thanksgiving door and Thanksgiving's in November. So I got a little more work done on my November yearbook. You know, a thread on there. And this is how far I got. I finished out the house and got November in. Yay. And I am switching out. I think I told you guys this before, but this doesn't have any of that teal. So I made the windows teal and I'm also gonna make these little, little diamond doodahs the teal color, so. There's my teal windows and November yearbook. I just need to get that done before November. That'll be no problem. I'll fit it into, I'll fit into more homeworks here and there and just pick at it and it'll get done. And then the four third project I worked on, uh, enchanting stitches this week. One of the assignments was to work on something that we don't understand or something that was a mystery to us. And what is a bigger mystery, or was, than stiatch? <laughs> I'm not caught up, guys, but I'm so close. Look, I haven't done this week's pattern, but I finished off week seven. So all their hair is done. Their hair is did. And this week's pattern wasn't much. It was just part of their faces. Honestly, like it looks kind of creepy. If you guys have seen people post on Instagram, because it's not their eyes, it's just their skin tone. It's not like mouths or eyes. They look kind of Skeletor. The one reminds me of Skeletor. <laughs> that probably dates me. Now you guys kind of, oh, I'm 44, but my brother definitely watched Skeletor. So there's Stiatch. I'm still not caught up. And you guys, I think week 10 or 11 is all back stitching. That might be where I'm out. <laughs> if it's a ton of back stitching, I'm like just looking at their hands and stuff and thinking that's going to be a lot of back stitching. I don't know. I might still bail on it, guys. But in the meantime, I'm close. I'm close to being caught up. I don't feel far behind on this at all. It's clearly Golden Girls. Backstitch might break me. All right, so that's three. That's three of my four projects, right? Is November yearbook, five o'clock somewhere, Stiatch. So the, I haven't put any work into this yet, but this goes to plans. Not that I ever really have that much of a plan, guys. But uh, the last task for Enchanting Stitches was to work on something that was new to you. So I decided what's more new than a new start? <laughs> and I am going to be starting Cinnamon Stars. This is also a little bit haul. A little bit plans, a little bit haul. Because uh, last week when I was so sad that I could not go to Acorns for first Thursday, I consoled myself by going to Threadneedle Street and buying a whole whack of threads. I bought the floss for um, five o'clock somewhere because I needed some of that DMC. And then I got all the ones for Cinnamon Stars. And there's a lot, guys. There's a lot of flosses. Look at that floss list. 
Uh, and this is how like retail therapy, like this was clearly retail therapy because I just bought all the call fours. I didn't even look to see if, oh, how many stitches is that? Does, do I really need the over dyed? Maybe I should get DMC. Nope. I just went and sprung for all of the over dyed. Woohoo. <laughs> so here they are. Actually, I'm missing, I think two of them I have, but they're in other projects. Uh, so I got to dig them up and one they just didn't have when she was out of. So, but this, this should get me started, I think. So there we go. So there's all of my flosses. And these cards are from That's So Kelly Co. You can order like three packs of these when you order your Bitsy Bob. And I really like them because you write, they're laminated. And so you write, even like I write on it with a fine point Sharpie and it doesn't come off. But then if I use like just a little like window cleaner, it'll wipe right off and they're reusable. So I just put the symbols on there and you can see like, I've clearly decided I'm starting this today. <laughs> clearly have decided I'm starting this tonight because I put the start date on there. And for fabric, I have chosen 36 count Old Town Blend. And I know I got this from Teresa, from Shakespeare's Peddler. Three second stitcher. So there we go. I think that's gonna look so pretty. I'm very excited to do this. And one of the reasons that I decided to pull the trigger, because originally I think I bought this a while ago thinking I would start it in October and then it kind of fell off or maybe I thought I'd start it in September and I just didn't, I just ended up not slotting it in, but I love the pattern. And then um, the gals at Stitching with My Bestie are doing a stitch along. So, you know me, I'm gonna join all the stitch along. So I went and decided kidding it up and starting it this week. And then it worked perfect with homework for something new because it's a new start and this is a new to me linen. I've never used this linen before. So pretty. Um, and so I can't remember exactly what the hashtag is. I think it's hashtag bestie cinnamon star. I'll put it below. I'll double check that and I'll put it below. So that I am definitely starting today. And that will be the last of my homework. And it's only Wednesday. I, some of that was just such quick stitching. The yearbook goes super fast. Five o'clock somewhere went super fast. Stiach did not go fast. All those white on white blends, whoo, their hair. That was like a whole evening of stitching just to get that. And I already had some of it done, some of their hair done, and it was a whole evening of stitching. Stiach did not go fast. But the rest of it has gone really quick. So I have some extra time this week. So I'm gonna work on some extra credit for book six in School of Magical Stitches because I'm way behind on extra credit. I feel like there's always 11, always, I mean, there there's 11 extra credit assignments and I've done three, four, three. I've done three. And <laughs> uh, we're over halfway through book six, so I've got some stitching to do. So I think I'm going to work on one of the extra credit assignments is something with a push and beaker or cauldron. And there's a cauldron on tingles, on the Lizzie Kate tingles. So I'm gonna work on that. And then um, something that looks like a pygmy puff, I have slated to do the friends uh, collage. So I'm gonna try to work on those two and see if I can bang out both of those this week. That'd be great. And maybe just also finish up five o'clock somewhere because that'd be fun too. So that's it for works in progress and um, works in progress and plans and a little bit of haul. So on to more haul. Ooh, I forgot something. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I realized I had left something downstairs. As I said, everything's right here. I realized I had gotten some mail today and it was still downstairs on the counter. So 
haul, all in my acorns and threads bag. And I don't actually have a lot this week, but I do have a couple fun things to show. And the first one is uh, I got a package from Michelle uh, Bendy Stitchy, and it was something I had bought from her D stash. And she was gonna bring it to last month's first Thursday and forgot it and then I couldn't make this first Thursday so she just sent it to me. And that is, I picked up this Michael Powell chart pack and it is um, this Venice window. I don't know why I like this style guys, I just do. And I have a Tuscan one and my husband and I uh, honeymooned in Italy and so I just I don't know I'm, I'm not gonna do all these Venice windows but I really liked this one with the dome because we climbed a lot of those when we were in Italy and I just so I thought that was pretty so I picked that up from Michelle thank you for sending that to me and then this is what I got in the mail today is I and these came so fast I got a couple more journals from uh, Primitive Stitcher on Facebook. And um, look how pretty these are. And if you guys didn't remember, I brought this one up. I had gotten this one a couple months ago. And these are so cool. I'm gonna show you guys the inside of them. So I got one and I haven't used it. So that's clearly a reason to get like two more, right? So it's a stitch journal. And these are just, these are beautifully handmade and she puts this cool little clip on them and neat little things inside. And it's just got space to do, to keep track of your stitchy projects. So it has a place for the title, the designer, what fabric, threads, it has a miscellaneous space. So if you do any conversions or swapping out, your start date and your completion date. So I got in this to have a stitch journal and then I didn't use it because I thought this is too special and which projects will I put in it because do I put all of them like I, I don't want to fill it up with like projects that don't feel special enough to put in this special special journal so I didn't use it and then the other day she posted a whole bunch more in her Facebook group for sale and they were um, so pretty because I had kind of I had asked her about this one and she hadn't really she didn't have like a bunch for sale at the time when I had asked about this but she said oh I have the materials to make it I'll I'll send you one you know I'll make you one kind of like oh not really a custom order but sort of and but then she had these like ready to go like done and ready to go and I thought I'm gonna order a couple more because then I, I'll use them does that make sense to anybody besides me in my head? Like now, like this one isn't like so incredibly special that I can't start filling it out because look, I have others too. So I don't know which one I'm gonna start with first, but look at this one. This one's so pretty with the sage and the blue flowers. Oh. And then I liked the clocks too. I like antique looking clocks, keys, scissors. I don't know why, I just do. So, so one of my goals for this week is to fill this out, to go back in my like big old wall calendar and look at when I started things and start filling this out so that I have a place to actually track this, all my stitchy stuff. So yay, they're so pretty. And I will link her Facebook group below. It might be a page, it might just be a Facebook page, but I'll link that below so you guys can go Check them out because she has all kinds of neat little handmade notebooks and journals and stuff. Really, really pretty. And because they were made and ready to ship, like they came so fast, so fast. I didn't, when it came today, I was like, what is this? I don't even know what this is because I just wasn't expecting it. So there's that. And then the other, only other thing I have is this was also something that I had oh, kind of custom ordered from Bags Plus. And it's a 
Big old floss buddy. You guys, look. It matches my journal. <laughs> this should be the first project in this one, don't you think? Because I ordered this. It is a floss, like a 90 pocket floss buddy pro. I think it's called a pro because it's got, um, I'll show you guys. It has two pockets, clear vinyl pockets inside. And I bought this one for Farewell to Anger. So this is my new year, new start, which we're actually flying back from Hawaii on the first. So it will probably be January 2nd that I start this. And that is a stitch along with Carolyn Zook, C. Zook Stitch, and Jan Hicks are kind of hosting the Farewell to Anger. But you can put like your either pattern or I'm gonna cut up I'm gonna get these all so they're all on one page, the key. And then it's got a place for 90 bobbins. And then this is like some nice bigger pockets. Like there's a place maybe for scissors and for, I don't know, all the other little things that you need. Maybe highlighters. And then it all just ties together. In a, pretty little thing so you can have all your flosses together I'm so excited so I ordered this specifically for farewell to anger and then today I also got 120 plastic bobbins and I like this set I get these off of Amazon I'll link them I'll link this below too because they send you also in the package five of these like cable rings and I like I like these I do use these, you know, clasp ones too, but I really like, especially for over dyed floss, particularly, I don't know why, like the thread drops they come on, I like these cable ones. So I have bought all of the floss for Farewell to Anger a couple months ago. And it's been sitting in a bag that says Farewell to Anger. That's a lot of floss to bobbinate, so I better get started. <laughs> so now I have bobbins, floss, floss buddy. I'm ready to start bobbinating for Farewell to Anger. And I think that's it. That's all I got this week. Yep. <laughs> that's it. So that's all I have for you guys this week. It's just, I ha I've been really busy. I have been watching some floss too, but I've just been trying to keep up with my regular people. Have you guys found any new floss tubers that I haven't talked about lately that you guys like? Tell me below if there's new people I should be checking out. I have watched some new people, but I think I've shouted them all out and now I'm just trying to keep on top of my subscription list. And it's not easy. <laughs> Uh, so I've been watching, I watched some this weekend while I was cleaning out the craft room up here and kind of rearranging and everything. So I think I'm, that's my plans is just to finish getting everything up here set up, get some stitching done. I don't think we have much going on this weekend. The girls are very busy with, um, dance this weekend. It's another like small group guest choreography week. So they're going to be dancing a lot this weekend. So Maybe I'll just be home stitching, hopefully. Uh, and, oh, giveaway. We need to get back to regular giveaways because I did the big thousand subscriber giveaway last week. And so now we're just gonna go back to regular old giveaways. How about that? So what I picked out for this week, since I've been working in the house and decluttering and reorganizing, I thought I would give away a pattern with houses on it. So I had bought this thinking that I might do this for my powder room, but then I ended up doing all those seasonal ABCs. And so I'm gonna pass this on. I really like it, it's so cute, it's by the Trilogy. It's called Trilogy Square. And it's three little patterns, but it also shows that you can put them all together in kind of one bigger sampler piece. So that's really cute. So if you would like to stitch this, just, uh, 
Comment below, I want to stitch the houses. I want to stitch the houses. And um, just be 18. It'd be nice if you were a subscriber. <laughs> uh, and don't say giveaway. You know, standard, standard rules. And I think that's all I have for you guys this week. I feel like I was very scattered and not with it this week. So thank you for sticking with me. Last week I took a weird old left turn. I just, whew, I gotta get it back together. But it's October. I, oh, I also did actually put up my fall decorations this weekend. It took 15 minutes. Because I don't have a ton. The youngest daughter wants to go to the pumpkin patch. Probably not, not this weekend. It'll have to be next weekend. She wants to do all the pumpkin patch things and carve pumpkins. And I'm so glad that the youngest, even though she's 13, still kind of wants to do those things. So we'll for sure be doing that. But I hope you guys are having a good week. Let me know what's going on with you, how your week's going, what you're stitching, what you're loving. And uh, I will just talk to you guys next week. And hopefully I'll be like, not so scattered. I'll try to get it together and have something for real on my wall. Until then, guys. Cheers.